oh my god happy new year you guys welcome to my channel we're here i know it's been a while gosh um it feels really nice to be back but it also felt really nice to not be on here i cannot even lie i took a nice 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 break this year for the holiday season and i i usually try to every year regardless but i think this is the longest uh, i took off partially had to take some time off partially wanted to but regardless i it was it was great it was great um obviously with what i do it's it's kind of hard to like shut off completely when it comes to doing content and wanting to film and stuff especially because that guilty conscience starts to kick in and then people start asking where you are <laughs> and it's kind of tough uh sometimes but i told myself i was like i'm going to take some much needed time off and i did but i'm back and i'm so happy to be back i feel ready i feel refreshed and we are going to uh get ready together this morning at least it's morning for me um i just got out the shower i already put my brows on and i was like today i'm pulling out the camera and we're gonna get back to it i also started posting back on instagram uh today too i just posted a new reel so i'm slowly kind of easing into it um we'll chat more as i do my makeup but i'm back i'm back i'm back <laughs> um happy new year happy post holidays gosh we're already mid january which is insane and i just know the rest of the month is gonna is gonna fly by but anyway um i don't have anything on my face right now i already did my skincare and stuff um i think i want to go for this today i wore this the other day and it looked really really nice yeah okay i'll do this but oh my gosh what did i get up to the past what it's been like a month Fish. so the past month i have been doing nothing lots of family time relaxing a little bit of shopping a lot of social media browsing just a full of nothingness in the best way i mean not nothing but technically just living life like off of of posting and stuff this month though is going to be pretty busy because oh by the way i didn't even mention but this is the danessa myrick's yummy skin skin tint in the shade six but this month is going to be a lot busier for me for us because um uh, i officially put in my 30-day notice to move the heck out this place <sighs> i did decide well as of right now while i'm filming this video i've decided to try to find a different place but i want to also see if maybe they uh can work on the price because the rent raise that they're doing is like ridiculous and it doesn't make sense for the one bedroom that i have and so i'm gonna see if they have an available unit that kind of like makes sense and fits within the price range i'm looking for Ooh. but if not listen i'm getting i'm getting up out of here because there's no way i'm paying the amount they're trying to make me pay for a one room bedroom um i have started looking but y'all for some reason and i think maybe it's just like girl maybe because you you move all the time but i'm already just in this place of like i don't want to look for an apartment i don't want to have to go through that process because it's just the last thing that i want to do i think i'm officially getting over the i don't want to say the moving process because i thoroughly enjoy having a new space and upgrading my space every year but i think i'm starting to get over the process of trying to find places to live in around this area everything looks the same feels the same is expensive hard to find it's just like a whole thing but i do like the the actual process of getting up and going somewhere fresh and new so it's kind of like a double-edged sword but all first world problems right 
so i have started looking i have a few places saved and i think later this week and next week i'm going to start actually touring some places but it's it's kind of like crunch time for us okay it is crunch time because we gotta find somewhere within the next not even 30 days i gotta find somewhere within the next like three weeks or less yeah so that's where we are with that definitely planning on moving so this month is going to be some some moving vlogs not this month next month sorry this month i'm still um kind of easing into the year to be honest i think that a lot of years in the past i've been a, i've always been a planner actually hourglass foundation stick and warm almond all the girls are using this now but i've always kind of been a planner when it comes to the new year but last year and this year i decided you know what i'm just going to take my time Ooh why is the lighting like this hold on there you go that's better so i decided that for this year as well and i know a big part of it is because i know i'm moving in the beginning of the year and there's no way that i'm going to sit down and write out my plans for this month or next or even the following and have it be accurate because it's these next two ish months are going to be hectic everywhere scatter just not it's not realistic to do that so i'm going to just take this month to ease into the the flow of work again ease into the flow of life and having a routine and everything and then after i move then we'll get back to like you know routines and regular life and stuff and even that though i can't even shoot the content i normally would like home decor hauls or decorating my place or a new year's reset or anything because part of my stuff is in some boxes i have boxes kind of like scattered around but i'm also trying to still keep my place looking decent for content because i don't want to just be filming in like a crazy hectic space so that's my life right now <laughs> that's my life right now with um what we have coming up but aside from that, that's it, really. That's it, really, really, really. I'm lying. Also, I am going to take a trip next month for my 30th birthday. I don't think I ever even told you guys that. But I did officially book a trip for my 30th birthday, and it's going to be a pretty big trip. I was kind of in between. By the way, I'm using the Hourglass. Uh concealer also all the girlies using this in the shade sienna but yeah i'm taking a big trip for my 30th i was kind of in between doing a trip and doing a party but parties and hosting usually are never for the person hosting if we're being honest i don't want to be hosting on my 30th let's just keep it a book i really don't so i mean technically on a trip you still like i'm getting a lot of questions like so like what do you have planned for the trip what activities are we doing da, 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 da. and i keep getting questions like that and i'm just kind of like i am like looking forward to relaxing on this trip and i don't want to do a whole lot of strategic planning but i know that a lot of people are like, excited to go and stuff and want to know like what the agenda is but i'm just kind of like i feel like there's a lot going on yeah i don't want to overly stress myself out for my 30th trip i just want to go into it relaxed having fun with all my loved ones and um just kind of like catching a vibe i can't believe i i can but i can't believe my 30th is coming and we'll probably chat about that in my things i learned in my 20s video um but yeah i am definitely looking forward to it but i'm surprised honestly that i'm not wanting to throw something big and extravagant for my 30th i mean a trip is is big and extravagant but usually i would want to do like a huge hoopla and the crazy thing is i'm like i'm only a month out and i'm still kind of like do i want to do i not want to do something else aside from my trip 
I don't know y'all. I don't know and it's weird because normally I am so into doing this, this kind of stuff. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I have some time to kind of think about it, but also not really. So I'll figure it out. But that's what the next month, month and a half is kind of looking like for moi. Of course, whatever I decide, as far as if I'm going to be throwing something and stuff, I'll try to vlog like some of the planning, the planning process and what that entails. But that is where I'm at with that. Right now I'm getting ready because I want to go to the Grove. I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble and Sephora. We're going to do a Sephora haul in this video because there are some things that I want to pick up that I've been seeing and eyeing and so we're gonna go do some shopping we're back on our BS <laughs> when it comes to hauls and shopping and buying unnecessary stuff but yeah uh for the rest of me getting ready we're just gonna do a little bit of music or maybe an ASMR because I I ain't got nothing else to say <laughs> Now to go do this. Now to go do this hair. I just wrapped up filming a hair reel slash TikTok, which I normally don't do, but I wanted to do my hair like this today with these little spikes. Like it's like a half up, half down with these spikes. And then my hair straightened because my hair is dirty, but I was like, well, what can I do to my hair? And I'm going to wear this whole look again for this weekend i think i think i think i think i think i don't know not this weekend later this week when i go out to dinner um because i really like the way this looks and i literally am just wearing this for the video so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna rewear this sometime later this week but i just got these cute hoops these chunky hoops are from target y'all so 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 stinking cute and i love this look i really want to wear this out right now to the grove if i'm being real but i'm not gonna do it because i know i'm gonna wear it in like two days and it's like you're doing a little too much but i'm gonna switch my outfit at least and maybe my maybe i'll keep the earrings but i definitely want to switch this this sweater i got from the name of the boutique is called 10 shop oh. before i head out i want to eat some food i want to eat some food because i'm hungry we went to this uh i think it's chinese I don't know if it's Chinese, I'm not sure. But we went yesterday and there were leftovers. When I tell you, I hardly ever eat leftovers. I don't know what it is. It's just, I always bring stuff home or I used to always bring stuff home, never eat it. But when the food is good, like good, good, I will bring it home and I will eat it. And this was one of those, this is one of those places, so. so hungry it's already about to be three i woke up a little bit later today which is fine because honestly i've had the worst worst sleep i feel like a lot of people lately have had the worst sleep um but my sleep has been like terrible so this past week i was finally like catching up and today was the first day that i got out of bed around like nine which normally i don't love to do i usually like to be out of bed by like 7 30 or 8 it's more realistic but lately i've been trying to just listen to my body and like rest when i need to rest and stuff and so today it felt nice to like really get out of bed late and so i'm just kind of like 
barely getting the day started. Not barely getting the day started because I did get up, start moving, start doing things, worked, filmed and everything. So that's still technically part of my day. But as far as getting out the house, mm. I also want to make banana bread tonight. I have two bananas that are like hanging on for dear life. Super ripe. I know the lighting is terrible right now, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, I want to use those bananas for banana bread tonight. So maybe we'll do that together. I've really been into like baking sweets lately. I don't know what it is, but I'm like finding a lot of TikTok recipes. The other day I made sea salt chocolate chip cookies. Those are kind of like my go-to chocolate chip cookies. And so today I'm gonna do banana bread. I go back and forth between like banana bread and cookies, to be honest. But I do wanna get more into baking other things. The only thing is it doesn't make sense for me to bake a lot of stuff because it's just me. I would have a lot left over. I mean, I could give some away, but for the most part, I know it's gonna end up staying in my place. So, like cakes and stuff, I really wanna learn how to make or like little other pastries but I would have to cut the recipe by like a lot, so I don't know. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I think I also am going to try a new recipe in general. I don't know who that is and I don't wanna answer it. Y'all can leave me a voicemail. But anyway, there's a new recipe that I want to try tonight. It's like a baked salmon with mini potatoes, no, mini tomatoes, <laughs> cream cheese, the chive and onion cream cheese, spinach, which I have. What else? There's like a few other things, but you basically put all the ingredients in a baking dish and you put it in there and then you also get spiral pasta, throw it all in there and it's like a salmon pasta salad and you can eat it um cold or hot throughout the week and so i want to make that tonight maybe we'll make that together i found it on you guessed it TikTok, and i made a list of all the recipe oh what is wrong with me i made a list of all the ingredients that i need to get for it and for my banana bread and just other things yesterday i did like a refrigerator clean out because i can't stand having a bunch of random stuff in there that i don't even be touching um, so I did that, but I need mini tomatoes, avocados. I just need avocados in general. Salmon, walnuts, spiral pasta, evaporated milk, brown sugar, eggs. I want to try to find a new protein powder that doesn't have all kinds of like random ingredients and that's like actually clean. And then other random things I need Lysol, toilet bowl cleaner, and dish soap. And then I do want to get like fruits and other things just to have I just met the sweetest the sweetest subscriber uh, her name was Iman and she had two twin girls and they were so cute <laughs> I wasn't vlogging in the stores though per usual but hi Iman if you're watching I just left right now I did go to the Barnes and Noble but they didn't have what I was looking for. And then we have the Sephora stuff. We'll do a haul in the car. It's been a minute. Usually I don't do hauls in the car anymore because a lot of the places I shop at, I have to like leave right away because parking is paid for or somebody's waiting for my parking spot. Whereas before I used to be able to just park anywhere and do these hauls. But, ooh, hold on. All right, all right, all right. All right. And I'm gonna, have to repack this stuff in the bag again because I want to do a haul for Instagram or for TikTok tomorrow. So I'm going to put it on the bag and pretend like I'm hauling it, you know? Because <laughs> it's already getting dark and I don't think it would make sense for me to film it unless I film it when I get home. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, haul. I got the wrong item. Do I walk back now? Oh my gosh. It's 
a good thing I oh do I want to walk back do I want to walk back and there's a perfume I tried on that I kind of like and I'm like I was thinking of going back anyway for it Yes, I got the wrong item. I think I'm gonna go back. I am, I am, I am. Okay. Um, so much for that. You know what? I'm gonna go back and I'll just do a haul for this stuff tomorrow when I also film it for TikTok. Oh. I'm a mess right now, you guys. I meant to get the Lancome Genifique eye moisturizer, but I accidentally got the face cream, and I don't want the face cream. I wanted to get the under eye, under eye one of this one for my under eyes, obviously. Yeah, you know what? I'll just go back. I gotta hurry, and then we'll do this haul tomorrow because it's already getting dark, and I gotta go to the grocery store. Okay, BRB. back home and we're not gonna make that salmon salad dish tonight because it's already seven o'clock and I wasn't able to find the mini tomatoes that was all I needed and I didn't feel like stopping by another store so I'm gonna make that tomorrow instead but tonight we are gonna do the banana bread I also didn't find walnuts so I'm gonna just make the banana bread without that and actually doing it a little bit different too because i found this new recipe like i told you guys it's a cinnamon crunch banana bread and i'm gonna add chocolate chips to it okay yes so we need chocolate chips and i'm kind of switching out some of the other ingredients because I don't use almond flour or gluten-free flour. We use flour flour. So I'm going to switch that out. So it calls for three large bananas, but I only have two. Olive oil, but I only have avocado oil. Two eggs, which I did buy. Maple syrup. Vanilla, flour, sea salt, for the sea salt I only have the flaky salt so that's what I'm going to use, baking powder and cinnamon. And it also has a cinnamon crunch topping, but I already have cinnamon sugar, so I'm just gonna use that on top instead of doing the cinnamon sugar situation. And they also add butter, but I'll do that once I take it out. This sounds incredible. Baking might be my new little little hobby. <laughs> I don't do it often, but for some reason lately I've just been into baking. First you gotta mix the wet ingredients together. In a small bowl. Hopefully you guys can see me. And the wet ingredients include the bananas. When I tell you these are ripe, they're ripe. Yeah, I would never eat a banana like this, <laughs> unless it was in banana bread. The perfume that I'm wearing, the perfume I ended up going back for, 
the scent i keep getting a whiff and oh my goodness i'll show that one to you right now because the way this smells wow if i could find it it's this it's brand new i saw it pop up on the sephora app and i was like oh that kind of looks like it might smell good and when i first smelled it in store i was like ooh it kind of is giving cherry car freshener but then i sprayed it on my skin and even then when it first sat on my skin i was like no and then i left sephora i went walking around and stuff and once it settled into my skin yes it smells oh and i normally don't do sweet scents but this one's a little bit sweeter gourmand vanilla not vanilla it's gosh i gotta look up the notes but anyway it's the black opium the ysl black opium other perfume over red let me look up the notes because it smells insane i know for sure one of the notes is cherry warm and sweet gourmands cherry coffee vanilla i was right it is vanilla a sweet perfume that blends sensual coffee and floral notes with a juicy cherry accord for the ultimate fruity twist. This woman's perfume is the dreamiest, warm, and sweet creation that truly captures the senses and lasts all night long. The bottle's an iconic black opium perfume bottle that takes on a new sexy shade. This bottle is covered in a dark red lacquered tone, matching the luscious cherry tones of this juicy fragrance and it says it's a genderless scent and i think so it's a little sweeter um but it just depends anyway that smells really good i have to let you guys know because i just got a whiff and i was like wait a minute so these ingredients i'm going to do just a smidge less than what it says because i'm only doing two bananas but it should still come out So I did a little less than one third cup of avocado oil. Oh, one egg and then the egg white of the other egg, just so it's a little less than two eggs. A little less than two third cups of maple syrup. A little less than one tablespoon of vanilla. So those are all of the wet ingredients. Let me put all this away. A little over one cup of flour. A pinch of salt. On the recipe, it says a tablespoon, but it was a mistake. Um, you can see in the comments, people said they followed it and it uh, was too salty. So it's only a pinch of salt. A little under a tablespoon of baking powder. And then cinnamon. Now all that's left to do is bring you guys closer because y'all don't want to see me. Y'all want to see this, this banana bread. So now I'm just mixing in the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. Mix it until it's all combined. And this recipe does not call for chocolate chips but I am going to add chocolate chips and I was going to add walnuts, but I couldn't find them. So we're just gonna do some chocolate chip cinnamon situation like that. Let's sprinkle in a few chocolate chips. Not too much, cause I don't love, love, like I'm not a super chocolate chip. Even with my chocolate chip cookies, I only add a little bit. And I'm using the Trader Joe's uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. Mm. 
Now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 40 minutes-ish and on 350. I just made it home from Target and I got the other grocery items that I needed in order to make that salmon pasta dish tonight. And then I also got some clothes that I wanted to show you. First of all, I got a new protein powder because I've been on the hunt for a protein powder that has like minimal ingredients. This one only has two ingredients. It has the whey protein and soy. That is it. Found these jeans. So I have seen these Mason Margiela jeans going around that I really, really like the style of. And so I found these jeans at Target and I'm going to cut them similar to the Mason Margiela jeans that I saw. The Mason Margiela ones are cut across right here. They have a slit and they're baggy and these are pretty baggy as well. Uh, and they look kind of similar as far as the uh, style. And I'm surprised they fit me really well. These are a size four regular. And so I'm gonna try adding that slip to them tonight. We'll do the Sephora haul when I'm actually like done up because, um, and I'm waiting for a few items to get delivered today. So we'll do that later. I found these pants that I thought were cute too. These are from A New Day at Target. Those jeans, by the way, were $36. These were $32. And they're these greenish, tealish looking trousers. These are long. They're definitely taller, girl friendly. I'm only 5'7", to some that's short, to some that's tall. Not short, but to some that's regular, to some that's tall. And so for me, I always have a hard time, believe it or not, finding jeans that are je jeans and pants that are long enough. And these fit me long, long, long. You're not gonna be able to see. But yeah, I got these to wear with like different types of outfits and I love how flowy and comfy they are. They kind of have a lounge feel to them, but they're a dress pant. So yeah, I decided to get those. Also got this white dress shirt because I don't really have a simple oversized dress shirt. I got it in a medium to get that more slouchy look. And the material of this one feels nice because it doesn't feel like it's going to be too stiff. That's the thing I don't like about a lot of these button ups is sometimes they're too stiff and office feeling. Ooh. And this one kind of seems like after a few washes it might loosen up. And this one was $25. Last but not least, I got some basic crop long sleeves that I found from the Universal Thread line. Long sleeve cropped. I got it in this oatmeal color. This gray. And the material on those feels really good too. And they were really inexpensive. These were 15 bucks. And I got it in black just so I can mix and match. These are great staples for like a capsule wardrobe type of thing because the material of these feels very nice. It feels kind of similar to some of the naked wardrobe stuff, if I'm being honest. It's a little more sheer, but as far as some of their basics, it has that soft, stretchy feel. Um, so yeah, that's everything I got at Target as far as clothing. And I usually don't love kitten heels, but I love kitten heels when they don't show, when you can't tell that they're kitten heels. So I got these black ones from Nordstrom Rack. I like the mesh on them. These are Steve Madden originally, but they were $49.97 at Nordstrom Rack. I don't love the heel, but if I wear them with baggy pants or jeans and you can't tell that they're a kitten heel, these are gonna be bomb, especially because I am taller. Sometimes I don't feel like being super tall. And this will make it look like I'm wearing heels, but in reality, they're small, um, especially with like jeans, you know? That kind of, that kind of vibe. And now I'm gonna make my protein smoothie. And I gotta sit in the house for the next few hours because I'm waiting for my new iPhone to get delivered. Uh, so I am gonna just chill and edit while I wait for that to come. It's supposed to get here between two and four and it's about to be two o'clock. Uh, but yeah, I have the iPhone 13 Pro. 
right now and i finally was like you know what let me upgrade and so i got the 15 pro in white which is right now i have the 13 pro in white my camera back here is broken you probably can barely tell uh, my phone still works just fine i'm gonna keep this phone and still use it for other content maybe i said that about the last iphone that i kept and i didn't really use it but um, i still like the way that this camera works i still shoot obviously all of my content on here uh, whereas the other one was like an old iPhone that the camera quality just wasn't the best So I might still end up using this one. I've never had a work phone I don't like the idea of having to think about two phones, but it is convenient sometimes to um, You know just have a second phone so I'm gonna just keep this one and um, Hopefully I use it. Well look what just got here Let's unbox it, shall we? Oh my gosh. And they're the same. It's literally the same thing. <laughs> the same thing. They look very, very similar. Just some subtle differences. I haven't even seen the iPhone 15 in person, to be honest. Well, I'm sure people that I know have it, but I haven't really paid attention to the details. The sides are different. Okay, iPhone review. The sides are different, you can see. This one's more of a matte silver. This one's more of a shiny silver, the old one. But everything else is pretty much the same. It's so hard to even tell the difference, really. You can see this is my old one because it's broken, but aside from that they're very very similar um on this one though, i'm noticing that the front camera is on the right side and on this one it's on the left side which is interesting but aside from that everything else is did they change the charger are you kidding me why do they keep doing that they did not send the little square that comes with it. I think I need to buy the little cubes because I don't think this fits in the old one because it's a different charger. So this charger now is the same as the iPad charger and my laptop charger. So that's convenient. I guess it makes sense because now I can use my iPad charger for my phone. But now that just means that I need to buy one specifically for my phone to have it plugged in by my bed all right so i am now making late lunch early dinner i'm gonna have this for both lunch and for dinner but i seasoned the salmon with salt pepper this salmon rub from trader joe's seasoned salt onion powder and garlic powder then i i'm filling this side with spinach and then the recipe calls for diced tomatoes, so we're going to dice that and then add in the cream cheese and stuff. But this is what I have as of right now. And I like it because you really only need like one dish and it, uh, like two because you have to make the pasta, but one or two dishes max.
puede tocar cuchara, pero usted okay, sí. Okay, es para usted. Gracias. What does it taste? Is it like lavender chai? It's it's very subtle, which I like. <laughs> We're gonna do a quick haul. First of all, I did my nails. I did my nails yesterday. My nails, my lashes, and I'm feeling really good. I actually got the nail color this time. I normally forget to get it. But I got the name. It's the Honey Fan Neon. I'll put it on the screen and it's this really pretty red the camera never picks it up it always picks it up like a really weird orangey tone but it's a really nice yeah it's not picking up the color but you can kind of see anyway let's do the sephora haul because i gotta get out of here i'm about to head out but i'll first start with the perfume that i was talking about earlier in the vlog because i'm gonna put some on right now but I feel like I don't really need to say much else about it because I already talked about it. However, this perfume smells so, so, so good. It just came out, apparently. And again, the name is the YSL Black Opium Ah uh, de Perfume Over Red. And I got the travel size, of course, because we do not get big size perfumes until we test it and we like it. But this is one that I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to get the full size of. Oh, it smells really nice to be honest i'm normally not a vanilla scent girl i'm not a vanilla sweet scent at that <clears throat> excuse me however this one i really really like my thing with vanilla scents is a lot of times they smell the same they smell a little bit too like artificial vanilla y to me in my opinion and this one does not smell like that this has a really nice blend of different scents that makes it smell sexy but still has that vanilla undertone that's not overwhelmingly sweet i i just really like this so that's that and then i did end up going back and getting the eye cream that i was looking for uh i wanted to get this to keep my under eyes hydrated and just to kind of try to get rid of any discoloration we're also turning 30 in a little less than a month now so an, an eye cream i think it's it's about that time i know eye creams like you don't really actually need them to be honest but i just want to add it for like good measure anyway this is the lancome advanced genifique youth activating and light infusing eye cream it's supposed to help with i believe dark circles and i think it's also anti-aging and it's this cute little black tiny little bottle and it feels really thick so that i really like and speaking of under eyes uh, i also wanted to try out the topicals patches that everybody's using these are brightening and clearing eye masks for darkness and puffiness it comes with six pairs basically just take off the little plastic put it underneath your eyes and it helps to brighten, hydrate, and debuff. It says to leave it for 15 minutes. Knowing me, I'm going to leave it longer. But it is this one right here. And... Okay. Oh, they come individually wrapped, which is nice. So I'm excited to use those. I keep seeing everybody wearing these. Hopefully they actually work, though. And then I got a new eyebrow pencil. This is the one I always use. Either this one or the Patrick Ta one but um i got it in a lighter shade this time i got it in the shade three warm brown warm light brown i usually use shade 3.5 it's what i have on right now but i was like let me just pick up three just in case i want to go for like a lighter brow look uh but this is a really good brow pencil what else did i get some things from hourglass what did i get from hourglass oh i got the vanish seamless concealer brush last time i went to sephora this one was sold out and this time that i went they actually had it so i picked it up because sometimes i don't want to like wet my sponge and cleanse it and all that and i just want to use a brush really quick to just blend my under eyes so that's what this one looks like it's just a small tiny precise concealer brush and i'm planning on using it right underneath here again on the days where i don't feel like using a Sponge. and then i also oh i got a lip liner 
uh, from Hourglass. And this is new, I think. Uh, it's the shade Exposed 1. And I was not going to get this. Oh, it comes with a sharpener. I wasn't going to get this, but I was walking around. I put some on in my hand. And then I continued walking around. When I was leaving Sephora, I went to grab a cotton ball with some makeup remover and I removed all the stuff I tried on my hand. And this one was not coming off, which is a good thing for lip liner because lip liner, you want it to stay on long. So I picked up this color. However, I will say the other night I put some of it on and it's a little light for my skin tone. It it works because it looks like my lip color, but I want something like a tiny bit warmer or a tiny bit darker. So I might go back and maybe like exchange it for a deeper color, but it is long lasting, very long lasting. I'm gonna have to get this <laughs> in a deeper color. I also got another, yeah, another lip color. I've never tried Bobbi Brown's lip colors, I don't think. And this one is a lip tint. Probably gonna take this with me right now. But uh, I like it because it really is like a balm. First of all, this is how the packaging looks. It's like a balm, but it has a little tint to it. And it looks like this. And when you put it on, you can see it's like very clear, but it has a subtle, subtle tint to it. It feels very moisturizing. This I am looking forward to using on my like no makeup makeup days or when I just want my lips to look nice and plump when I'm not wearing any makeup at all. Or even just to like touch up my lips so they don't look crusty and dusty. Another Bobbi Brown product, the Skin Foundation Stick, but I got it in a deeper shade. This is another one I'm going to have to go back and get in even. Why do I feel like I cannot talk? I'm going to have to go back and get an even deeper shade i got shade n070 neutral golden but i want something warmer and deeper on my hand it works but i tried it on my skin and it it's a little too light it barely even shows up on my on my face see how on my hand it looks good i like the tone of it though so i might just go back and get it a little bit darker but i'm planning on using this to bronze up my skin it's supposed to be like medium full coverage. I haven't tried this all over the face, but I was just intrigued. Because Bobbi Brown, I feel like, is one of those brands that a lot of people don't really reach for. But I feel like they can have some gems if you really look. There's also a highlighter. When I go back and exchange this and this, there's a highlighter from Bobbi Brown that I, I tried on my hand. And I was like, I should have gotten it. So I'll go back, exchange that. We love a good Sephora trip anyway. And then I also got the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Gel. I was watching a TikTok, I believe, and the girl was using this, and it looked bomb on her brows. Her brows looked laminated, okay? So I was like, add to freaking basket for sure. It's this really small. They didn't have this in store for a long time. It was online only, and they finally had it in store. So I picked it up, and it's literally it's on the tiniest little eyebrow gel don't mind the sirens in the background downtown la vibes and then it has this really tiny tiny brush i need a tan because the fact that my hands look this light is insane but yeah it's this really tiny tiny come on brush so we'll see how this works on my brows you guys know i usually use the got to be eyebrow gel but doesn't hurt to try a new one last two things this is not a beauty item it's more of a health item i keep seeing it again all over tiktok so i wanted to try it uh earlier in the vlog i mentioned that my sleep has been super crazy actually the past maybe few days it got a lot better i think my body's just trying to like get back to it's like sleep cycle but just for some little extra a little extra juice i got the moon juice magnesium this is the berry calm one it's for relaxation and sleep and it's this one right here you guys have probably seen it everywhere you basically mix this in with well what i'm gonna do is mix it in with a little bit of cranberry juice no i'm like cherry juice and some sparkling water 
and you do one teaspoon you can do it uh pretty much every night or when you need to just like relax and decompress so i'm gonna try this out maybe this weekend later on this week when i don't really have stuff to do because i don't want my body i don't know how my body's gonna react okay so we're gonna try this later on in the week see if it actually helps to make me sleep i feel like i don't even really need it anymore but it doesn't hurt to have it on a day where i'm like a little more sleepless this okay i wanted to get this because i mentioned this a while ago but i've tried every single scent i believe from sol de janeiro and for some reason i can't find one that i like i know there's one that everybody says smells like baccarat and i to this day disagree i feel like it maybe has similar notes but it doesn't smell the same i don't and everybody's like it's a dupe it's literally the exact same thing and i'm like it's really not but we move i wanted to get just a little like side note but i wanted to get this one because i was hearing that this like the best one that they have come out with to this day the yellow bottle i did like it smells that one i will say smells exactly like the tom ford soleil blanc but the pink the pink one the other ones that they have that the say smells like baccarat i i mm, mm, it's a little bit but let's see what this one smells like because i i didn't get to smell the spray they didn't have the spray in store um yeah if you still are looking for a Baccarat dupe, the Ariana Grande one is the most similar that I have smelled. Uh, but this one, I don't know. About the Ariana Grande Cloud. I feel like by now everybody knows that, but just in case, in case you didn't know that. They might be onto something oh i kind of like this my thing with their products i think i mentioned this last time is sometimes they also smell a little bit more of like a fake scent and not a i hope you guys know what i mean when i say that some scents you can smell that they smell with the right tone be like almost like plasticky or lotiony with a few drops of scent whereas others smell like a scent like they smell like whatever scent it's very potent and you can't smell like the plasticky chemically cream it's i don't know maybe i'm just weird kind of yeah i like this one a little better but yeah it this one smells smells good it's supposed to be a hibiscus scent but that's everything that i picked up from sephora this time around i'll link the stuff down below in the description box in case you guys want to screenshot or shop anything but that is it for today's vlog as well thank you guys so much for tuning in and like i said in the beginning i am so excited to be back to filming and life and routine and moving soon <laughs> i'm just really excited for for what's to come and i'm feeling really good so thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next one bye so this brought around the way instantly connected when he caught my eye nothing ever was the same couldn't seem to get his picture out my mind then we took it all the way I could have sworn he was just my type. Then he, he said to me, you're my